Hello everyone and this is B from the House of the Limitless. Sorry for the flu. Today I'm sharing with you the formula for achieving what you've always wanted, the desire map. Desire is the power of wanting and whatever we want in life is the primary force that keeps our lives running. When we desire something, we're willing to plot and plan to get it. We act upon it, make sacrifices for it. Its complete or partial achievement can also control our emotion. By all means, desiring something forces us to chalk out multiple ways of how we're going to get what we want. Just take example of your high school crush. You probably sat behind them in science and you really wanted to be with them. Perhaps you thought of all sorts of creative ways to make them notice you, dropping hints, writing notes and maybe something else. Desire also helps you evolve as a person. Imagine if every time you met someone new, they gave you a written list of all their desires. You will be easily able to comprehend their background as well as their future aspirations. Often fears and other factors get in the way of achievement of your wishes. Here are four things that you must do that will help you achieve whatever you dream of. Number 1. Following your feelings is equally important as following the logic. We are often advised to make decisions based on facts, not feelings. Why do people do it? Because they consider facts to be a measure of the truth while feelings seem to mislead us. This is true but your subjective feelings are true as well. If you've ever called someone annoying, you haven't stated a fact but you have shared some sort of truth that the person makes you feel annoyed, right? But because intense feelings can be distracting and make us less productive, most businesses don't tell their employees to follow their heart, but vice versa. But no matter what people tell you, remember that your feelings are as important as the ground realities are. We all have core desired feelings that are the signposts we need in order to guide ourselves. Imagine being stuck at a job that's well paid but incredibly boring. If the first thing you feel upon waking up is the desire to fall back asleep and you dread going to work, then this is a clear sign that your life needs something new. Of course, logically, you would never think of giving up your income. But following your feelings, not money, is what will make you feel fulfilled. Number 2. Get the pressure of others out and let the unexpected in. Working out what your desires are is enlightening and liberating. But many of us waste our time chasing what we think are our desires, which unfortunately are other people's wishes for us. Have you been striving to get married before you hit a certain age? Pushing yourself to earn a certain amount of money this year? Just think, are these actually your desires? And what actually are your desires? Sorting all of this out will help you discern when you're simply trying to prove yourself to your peers, you'll finally be able to start making better choices and chase the opportunities that really matter to you. Let's say, if you desire to feel loved or make a contribution to the lives of others, then it might not be that six-figure salary that will help you get there, but a volunteer job in a refugee shelter will. Sometimes, by the chance encounters also play a vital role in helping you discover what you really want out of life. So if something unexpected comes your way, don't ignore it. You might be desiring a true romantic connection with a little adventurousness in the mix. Then you find a guy who makes you feel just that. But he is not in great shape, doesn't have a fancy degree and has quite a large nose. Now my girl, you're all ready to run for the hills. Stop. We have to be open to all different ways our desires manifest. Treasure every moment when objects of your desire fall into your life by chance and you will reach a whole new level of awareness. Number 3. Goals that scare you aren't worth chasing. Have you ever chased a goal and achieved it but still felt empty? These are the goals that aren't in accordance with your true desires. These desires and strict timelines will only stress you out. A goal that you dread chasing isn't a goal worth achieving. So create goals that seem achievable to you and capture your core values and desires. Your goals must be inspirational. Only then will you have a better time chasing them. But what about when you reach one of these goals and still feel hungry for more? Well, that is natural. Your mind is just looking for further opportunities to grow. If you publish your first poem, it might make you eager to enter a short story competition. Getting a runner position in that competition can make you eager to start running your own publication. Our desires keep growing, but remember to ensure that these goals also feel completely right. Plus, 
You'll have an even better experience if you help other people follow their desires while chasing your own goals. Number four, embrace your flaws and rise above them. You must have dreamt of becoming an acclaimed writer or a successful designer or some similar huge success, but promptly nip those plans in the bud because a voice in your head told you that the desire was ridiculous. This is exactly the voice that you must ignore. Make peace with the goals. If your goals make you feel good, then don't criticize yourself for having them. Similarly, you should also be careful not to make fun of the goals of your friends and family. But what if your desires are at odds with each other? Actually, that happens quite often. Someone who loves alone, peaceful time and dreams of living in a log cabin in a peaceful woodland might actually be a mommy of two noisy children with a jam-packed family life. Sounds conflicting, huh? Well, it is. In these cases, a choice must be made. But this can be a source of finding happiness in places you would never expect. But the biggest issue comes when we find obstacles in our own limitations. You might have a limited budget, uh, family responsibilities to uphold, or health issues to deal with. But these hurdles aren't a reason to give up on your dreams. Simply admit them and learn to work with them. This will allow you to live your dreams and do so sustainably, perhaps even discovering new ways to overcome problems and grow. So these are the things that you must know in order to fulfill all your wishes. But what is knowledge without the action? So the action for today is just sit down quietly with a paper and a pen and now close your eyes and just think for a while. Now separate out your truest desires that you've always lived with from the ones implicated by pressure from society and family. After this, you'll have a rather focused approach towards your dreams. Now, if this video was able to add any value to your life, uh, please like this video, comment down below, share it with your loved ones and don't forget to subscribe to The Limitless.